Are you still wasting time looking for the perfect productivity app? Most of them promise a lot, yet deliver nothing. 2025 is full of noise, but these five apps are the rare ones that actually work. My name is Pitsviraj and I create videos on productivity, tech and life. First up is By Design. And honestly, this might just be the only productivity app you'll ever need to stay organized. Well, take a look for yourself. This is what the dashboard looks like. And as you can see, everything is well organized. By Design is kind of like if Notion, Habitica and Google Calendar had a baby. Well, that's the most accurate conclusion I could think of. To-do list, habit tracker and also we have a dedicated segment for your calendar timeline. The UI is very clean and minimal which I really appreciate but the highlight for me is the AI powered goal planning. You tell the AI your goals like hitting the gym consistently, meditating daily and it will break them down into doable habits as in it will create a guided plan for you. It's super smart and it adapts as you go. Also we get various templates for creating the perfect workspace like we have one for journaling, goal tracking or maybe even for your career plan. We have a daily task list. I've got three lined up for today hit the gym meditate and no junk foods yeah i'm kind of trying to live right what's cool is that you can quickly add tasks tick them off and see your progress on this little tracker on the right it's super satisfying and also at the top we have got a point system streaks and even a leaderboard style days on top it's like your personal productivity stats and it's low-key kind of addictive please create streaks on by design instead of on snapchat thank me later Bruh. jokes apart i really like the habit tracking segment in case you needed some help building habits it has this section where you get a list of all the habits that you can check out for example i've been recently trying to learn spanish and i've been tracking my progress here una mesa para dos personas por favor the calendar integration is pretty amazing. We can schedule events and plan our entire day hour by hour, as in the time blocking method as we have previously discussed on many of my past videos. It's perfect for creators like myself, students or anyone who needs to manage a packed up schedule. And at the end of the day, it will really help you stay a lot more accountable like I previously mentioned. There is even a space for tomorrow's tasks and someday goals. So if you have got ideas or things that you are not ready to just do yet, you can still log them and come back here later. Yeah, attend tomorrowland. That's really in high priority. If you have got pages on notes you're working on, they will show up here in quick access. Great for jumping back into something. Overall, I really enjoyed this all-in-one productivity app. Seeing everything at one place really gave me clarity on the things and the goals that I need to accomplish. And also a big shout out to By Design for sponsoring this video. Alright, so this is an app I have featured multiple times on this channel and I still can't emphasize on how much it has helped me. Sleep Cycle. I've been using this app from 2019 most likely, but now I have totally replaced my alarm clock with this app. What your normal alarm does is, it basically wakes you up in the middle of a sleep cycle. Hence we wake up all grumpy and not feeling like it. You might have heard this somewhere. Studies show that we must avoid hitting the snooze button. If we snooze our alarm and then go back to sleep, what happens is that our body again starts a sleep cycle and thereby we again break it after 5 minutes because we hit the snooze button. Snoozing the alarm is actually even worse. The most ideal way to wake up is when our sleep cycle ends. This app exactly does that. Suppose you wanted to wake up at 8.30am. This app is gonna simply set a wake up duration and it will automatically wake you up when you are in light sleep or you are actually awake. I have got you used to this app so much that I myself wake up before 8.30am and then I simply wait for the alarm to ring and to my surprise it almost does that instantly. I don't know how but it actually works. I used to be a complete night owl but ever since I started using this app I have been able to fix my sleep schedule. Basically every time when I wake up now I don't feel lethargic anymore and also I don't go to existential crisis every time I wake up and it also gives me so much stats on how I can actually improve my sleep quality as well as this graph view where you can simply track your sleep over months and as you can see I literally have tracked my sleep for years now on this app. And also, we are closer than ever to hitting 100k subs on this channel. I would really appreciate if you could consider hitting that subscribe button, which really helped me out a lot. Next up is GoodNote 6. It's simply amazing. It's been my go-to note-taking app on the iPad for years, and now it's aiming to be one of the most complete note-taking apps out there. And you might be surprised just by how much it can do. This app still uses that clean folder-based system because it makes it super easy to organize your notes. If you're a student or a researcher, you can very easily organize your notes based on different subjects or topics that you're working on. You can take handwritten notes, text-based notes, as well as voice notes on this app. But they did one better. It will also do a live transcription of your voice notes. And this is a total game changer. For lazy people like me, you can now simply open the voice recording tab and start dictating your notes. And it is going to transcribe it for you in real time. This has been super helpful for me. The handwriting feel on this app is real smooth. And you will get a very natural handwriting experience on this app with near zero latency. And also you will not face any issues regarding the palm rejection aspect as well. The new spell check feature also fixes your 
spelling mistake that too in your own handwriting take a look i just made the spelling mistake and i can simply tap on it and it will try to mimic my ugly handwriting and try to fix it this feature is like a hit or miss but with time this can turn out to be something really cool like we previously mentioned we now have a dedicated segment to take text based notes the interface here will feel very similar to microsoft word or google docs we can choose the type of text we need and also we have all the essential tools required for taking text based notes as in all the text formatting options are out there good notes have also added this chat box think of this like chat gpt right inside good notes you can ask questions just like you normally would to chat gpt or it can help you brainstorm ideas when you need to jot down some key points also you can summarize your notes using this say you have attended a lecture or taken a ton of messy notes during a meeting you wouldn't need to spend hours combining through your notes to get all the key points good notes ai can scan through your content and generate a concise summary for you it will essentially do all the heavy lifting for you so you can focus on what matters the most so if you're into digital note taking good note 6 is definitely worth checking out app block if you sometimes lack self-control and wanted to stop yourself from using a certain app we all know what then this app is for you this one has actually helped me use my phone less you will be able to block all the apps or websites you are addicted to or rather you can block all social media and entertainment apps you just won't be able to access the blocked apps thus helping you take control of yourself and the best thing is that it keeps a count of how many times you actually tried accessing these apps when they were blocked so if you keep opening instagram a thousand times in one minute it will show you that as well yeah this feature can actually make you feel guilty because of that please try not to watch tiktok and reels all day and to be honest the name of this app is pretty self-explanatory simply add an app or a website and it will stop you from accessing that it is really important for us to get rid of distractions if you want to stay productive all the time but i agree it can be really tough to keep distractions at bay in this modern world hence this app is particularly helpful for that and best of all is cross-platform you can use it on both android as well as on ios lastly i've been using this app a lot lately for my youtube research and other boring stuff perplexity ai quickly became one of my favorite tools for researching and well just getting quick accurate answers but with all the ai hype out there the real question is does perplexity actually stand out and why not just stick to using chat gpt itself well of course you can continue using chat gpt but here's the thing there is so much you can do with the free version of chat gpt perplexity ai typically stands out for research related content let me tell you why firstly it has real time internet access even when you are using the free version whereas chat gpt only offers real time access with gpt4 using the pro version if i am not wrong that is hence for such cases perplexity can help you more if you need a latest information about something for example i am reviewing the latest tablet chat gpt will often provide me with old data which is not really helpful but i get the latest info with perplexity ai secondly another major reason why i use this is because perplexity ai emphasizes on transparency by showing us users where the information comes from which is vital for maintaining credibility in research and professional work also it has been designed for deep research in simple words it will do all the overthinking for you so that you yourself don't have to waste time overthinking stuff and to top it off perplexity offers free access to powerful llms like chat gpt's o3 mini plot 3 and even deep sea car one all in one place so that can be useful if you wanted to get a second opinion while generating stuff but overall if you're into research background or you needed real-time info then perplexity ai could serve you as the better option let me know which app you would like to give a shot and also let me know if there are any cool productivity apps that i should try out and i'll feature them next time but there is one secret app that i definitely recommend that you give it a try if you want to stay productive every single day click here on this video and over there we have discussed the only app you should use in 2025 to stay productive see you there